After a while, the images look the same. Their impact is diminished. You've seen one burnt out tree stump. You've seen them all. One by one. Much like the landscape, they simply melt together. Fire will do as fire does. Reinforcement and reminder that what I saw here didn't affect me. It was the next person. I went home. I slept in my own bed. Lucky this time, I guess. Reinforcement and reminder. Those standing next to me. To them, I am the next person. In the brief period that I was here, I truly believe that I bore witness to one of the largest independently organised and executed boots on the ground, seat of the pants, tooth and nail, balls to the wall, sheer ass, successful mobilisations of aid, sans government assistance in my living memory. Operation Veteran Assist was run with military style precision. Kind of funny that. Aid and assistance came, to be sure. It came not from where we might have expected or hoped or indeed demanded. It came from where we have kind of grown accustomed to in crises like these. It came from the grassroots level. It came from all points of the compass, unprecedented. It came from the youngest of hands to the old hands. It came. Reinforcement and reminder that our sense of community and sheer bloody mindedness in stepping up and dishing out, while not a necessarily uniquely Australian trait, is one that we effortlessly use, rinse, repeat. From the youngest of hands to the old hands. Faces, names, some I'll never forget, some I didn't ask for to begin with. Too many individuals, too focused on the task at hand that they volunteered for. A friend of mine once said our sense of mateship should not be confused with friendship. They're not the same thing. I concur. Complete strangers set aside religion, opinion politics, attitude. Heck, we didn't even have to like each other. But we got the job done in the spirit of mateship. Maybe that's a trait that we can claim as our own.